A new feature in the Composition API is the ability to use Provide and Inject for dependency injection. Not only do we have to use Provide and Inject to build plugins, but it's also a great way to avoid prop drilling, which is passing props several components down a hierarchy, even if many components in between don't require this value. If we only use props, let's say we have a parent component with a count property and a child component several levels deep needs access to this count value, we would need to pass count to every single one of these levels. This introduces many places for error and places that we need refactoring if some Something were to change in the way that we handle our data. Using provide and inject, we can create our parent component as a dependency provider for all children, no matter how many levels deep it may be in the component hierarchy, allowing for much easier maintenance of our code base. Let's take a look at how to code an example. So let's start off with providing our dependencies. And there are two ways to do this. In the options API, we can include a provide property on our app, and inside, we can declare all the different values that we want to provide. So let's say we want to inject a value called name, and we'll pass it learn view. And in our child component, with the options API, we can include an inject property. And similar to props, it can take an array with different property names that we want injected from our provide. Meanwhile, if we want to use the composition API, we have to import provide from view, and then inside of our setup method, we can call provide with two parameters, the first value being the name of our property, and the second one being its value. Similarly, in our child component, if we import inject from view, we can create a constant and we'll call it name equals inject and then pass it in the name of our property. Inject also has a second optional parameter, which provides a default value if one is not found. So in our example, we can see that our child component is properly getting name from the parent. The real power of dependency injection can be shown when we start adding reactivity between our two components. And passing reactive data is as simple as, well, creating reactive data and then passing it. We can do that in the options API by turning our provide into a function so we have access to the this property. And one thing to know is that provided properties are not reactive. So to make it reactive, we can import computed from view. And then where we're passing a name, create a computed property that returns the current value of name in our data. Or in the composition API, we can import ref, create our ref, and then pass it. And let's say in our parent component, we're tying this value to an input. In our child component, nothing will have to change. We're still accessing that same name property that's being passed by our parent. A lot of the best practices when dealing with dependency injection work similar to props. Most of the time, we don't want the component where our data is injected to be able to directly mutate the reactive property. To do this, we can create a setter method from our parent and also use provide to pass that down to our other components. Finally, it's best to use views read-only capabilities around our ref to make sure that anything we pass and provide can't be mutated by wherever it's injected. I hope this quick introduction to dependency injection in view 3 has helped, and if it did, please like and subscribe for more free view content. Hope to see you in the next one.